Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're back on the 1980s series, and I was just coming back from the dealership because I picked up a brand new 80s four-wheeler. So I got my one neighbor just currently cultivating this field, and then we're going to move on to the next one after I get done expanding the field because that's my plans for today is expanding and planting wheat. So this field up here that I've been leaving alone is still, you know, full of grass. I'm, I was supposed to, you know, mow it and then bale it up or windrow it and bale it up, but I just ignored it. So, of course, it's going to be a pretty big project. I got to cut half of this tree line out and remove half of the bushes with a mower. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to mow the bushes up. I might just plow over it and then it'll be fine after that. But I might keep a few trees here and there along the tree line to make it look good. So, like I said, I have my one neighbor kid down the street helping me cultivate debate right now no clue where he went he might have went on break i don't know he's been taking breaks this whole time he's been on this field and it's a small field it's like one row he takes a break another row takes a break man this kid he might get fired by the end of today so it's come to my attention that i completely forgot to buy a plow which is completely fine i'll just go call the dealership up and make arrangements to go buy a new one but first i do got to get a chainsaw as well all right he just picked up the plow and the chainsaw and i'm gonna go into the back of the field and start working on it and i'll catch you guys back there and again the neighbor kid disappeared left my tractor on with the old all the old hay bells man yeah this is his last day Check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's pregnant. Paycheck, bread race, what's next? I'm kind of feeling like a small fish in a big pond. I think I'm going. So you can see I just started my lines with the plow to get a good rough estimate of where I'm going to be plowing at. So I'm going to go ahead and start plowing now. see i did fire the neighbor kid because he was just making me mad and losing out of money and everything else so i just went ahead and grabbed the cultivator and i'm going to cultivate and then i'll come back when i start seeding i already just got done finished cultivating so i'm going to go ahead and put this here jump back in the tractor with the cedar and then finish seeding 
You know, I'm actually very surprised on how the expansion came and turned out. I'm actually very happy with it. Once I get more money saved up, I'm going to build a red barn down up in this field right here so I can have more storage for hay bales and more equipment. I'm not sure yet. Let me know down in the comments. All right, and just about halfway done to plant in the field with wheat. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera off and finish up here, and I'll be back with you guys shortly. To my good friend, and he asked me where the hell had I been. So just got done planting the whole field with wheat. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean off all the tractors and the equipment. Make sure everything's maintenance and serviced properly before I do put them away. I do know one thing. Before the animal dealer closes, I do got to make arrangements to get a bunch of hay bales ordered and delivered to my farm. And honestly, right now, I have no other choice but to buy hay bales for my animals. Honestly, I do got a lot of ideas for this farm specifically, like the uh, field that we just expanded earlier. I do want to build off a barn at the bottom of that field and then just keep expanding out fields and getting more animals. So that's the main goal for this farm. And when I'm talking about expansion, I want to find out who owns this field over here it's a pretty big field and i want to connect it with my field so i have a bigger field to work with or i might just leave it disconnected but that's going to be a future project now i also do want to keep getting more equipment and more tractors so i think that's going to be first but i really do want to get more animals so i might i'm thinking about getting more cattle or horses i don't know what i should do yet that's why i'm just waiting so i can get a little bit more money in the bank another thing too is why i want to build the barn is because i need another implement shed and another barn built onto the farm site as well so that's why i was thinking a little bit lower down to the mid-range field because there is room over there still for a barn and an implement shed because this implement shed is a little bit too small and i didn't realize that at the time uh, with me currently just keep buying implements and tractors so that's another main goal that's on my mind for the farm as well, but it's going to take a little bit of time as well. Alrighty, well, I'm pretty sure this is all the equipment that I had left to put away besides my John Deere and my sprayer. But as soon as the fields start growing with weeds, we're going to start fertilizing the fields as well so we can get a better yield. For our wheat harvest for the upcoming year, um, also too, I still got my TLX, my 1982 TLX in the back of this barn. Uh, let me know what I should do with it down in the comments below. But I'll catch you guys in the next episode. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio.